All right, let's learn how to use Inspiration software. We'll go down to the dock and open Inspiration. Inspiration is great brainstorming software. So I'm going to zoom in a bit so that we can see. And you see we start with the main idea. You can go ahead and type in any main idea you want for our project. Let's say I would like quadratic equations. And then I want to start brainstorming what I know about quadratic equations and what I want to include in my project. So I click on rapid fire up in the menu. And a little lightning bolt shows up. So uh, what is it I want to cover in my report about quadratic equations? I want to talk about standard form. And when I hit enter again, that goes off into its own bubble, but I can continue in the quadratic equations bubble brainstorming about that. So uh, I also know graphing is really important, and I know uh, I need to describe how to choose the best strategy. And I could go on and on with this. Let's say I'm happy with that, and now I'm ready to brainstorm each of the things that I came up with just now. So let's go to graphing and rapid fire that. I need the vertex. That's important. I need to know about the axis of symmetry. That's important. Uh, maybe I also want to talk about the roots and a table of values. And I could go on and on. As you can see, it's starting to look a bit cluttered, a little confusing. So to fix that, I'm going to click on Arrange. Uh, entire diagram. I like mine as a top-down tree, and I like mine in the center. So I hit OK, and it arranges everything for me. You can see everything that we put in there. So uh, I'm completely done brainstorming. I'm ready to move on and really start creating my project. But I need to save this as a picture so that I can go and paste it into my notebook file to be turned in later. So go up to File, Export, and leave it just as it is, GIF and Transparent Background. Click Save, and then save it onto the desktop in your group work folder or whatever you called it for this project that's on the desktop. Click Save. And those are the basics on how to use Inspiration. It does lots of other things you can use pictures instead of the green circles. You can use different shapes, stars, thought bubbles, all those different things. But these are the basics. If you want to get into that other stuff, it's up to you. All right. Good luck.